Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial about ChainIK constraint. And if you look at the screen, you can see something's going on. And this is what you can do. You can do so many things with ChainIK constraints, but we can do this. So if you notice here, you run and it's going like this. And then I added some fun functionality to it. So if you trigger this box, now they are actually going up to the next one. Isn't this cool? So I'm planning to show you how to be able to do this. And we're going to, of course, start a little bit simpler than this. And I'm going to show you the basics. And what we are going to do first, we're going to do if I play here. <clears throat> so, and I also want this to show post process. Thank you. So this is what we're going to start to do. And how ch uh, chain IK constraint works is that you have bones like this. And so each piece here is a bone and you can choose how long or short you want it to be. And then you just have a target that it follows like this. So then you just decide and it can go, you know, like this and it works pretty cool. You can have it in so many ways what you want to do with it. You can have it like a worm and rig a worm in it or um, a lot of stuff. And then when we done this base setup, we, I'm going to show you this one here. And what you see here is that uh, the, bl the blue thing in the center here, it uh, measured the distance between the player and the center of it. And when you get closer, then the follow target goes into position. So what's happening here is um, So if you look at the left here, you see this is the root bone and top here, and the top is following the follow target. And the follow target is the blue one here. So yeah, it's just a script that I add to the follow target. And when we made that thing, I'm going to show you this part. So this is essentially what we saw in the beginning. And I yeah, I have this trigger box here, and when I do that one, it goes to the other position. So if I show you like this, then you see a little bit more what's happening. Now you see, if I go to the trigger box, then it goes back here. So, it's, um, it's cool. Good stuff to know. If you want to do, I don't know, level design, you can use it for level design. Or if you want to have it on your characters, that's also possible. So let's get started and do it from scratch. And of course, we're going to start from an empty scene. And I have one here. And I'm going to show, explain to you. I have this mesh here. And it's one by one by one. So it's uh, just a cube. And I'm going to have this uh, snap here. So it's 0 0.5 units, so you can see it's kind of snapping like this. And here, if you look at this one, this mesh, they are all pointing forward in the Z direction. And it's uh, the center, the pivot is in the center, so it's easy to rotate like this. And the same with this one, it's also in the center, and if you look on the side, it's in the center of this ball, which makes everything easy when we are going to rig this. And this is going to be our kind of root or actually parent. Uh, I named it root. root. And this is the bone and we're going to have the bone. So let's start with this one here. And I'm going to put this one here i'm not going to put it here because then it's going to rotate like this i want it to be here so it's going to look a little bit more logic and then i'm just just going to copy paste this one and have this one here so you see it's going to snap and have the pivot right where it stops so it feels natural 
that's good and so here you see root and then then we have bone i'm actually gonna have this one to bone one it's gonna be in bone zero two and we're gonna parent them then i'm gonna have this one again here i'm gonna do it again here and as i understand you can just decide yourself how long you want this one to be and now i'm just gonna parent these like this here perfect this one is gonna be bone three bone four bone five and then i'm gonna have the platform and i'm i'm gonna have this one as uh tip. the tip of the bone then i'm just gonna do zero then i'm gonna do this one over here let's see here perfect so when i rotate this one it will be like this so this is the um, setup pretty easy simple geometry and we have the root here and yeah we don't have anything else on it the tip one because we're going to jump on it and walk on it I'm going to add a mesh collider so and convex. So we have that one here. So that's super nice. And we don't really need uh, collision on these ones. You could have if you want, of course. And if you want the chain IK constraint to work, you need to have an animator. Actually, if I do a chain IK constraint, yeah. I was expecting it to uh, no okay sorry we we're not gonna add a chain ik constraint on the root we're actually gonna in the root let's see first we do a create body so this is gonna be the arm we can call it arm and this one gonna be the root gonna be on the arm like this so now if we move around okay the arm is not in the center so i'm gonna move it now it is in the center perfect so now we have it like this and this one the arm i'm gonna have the animator and you need to have an animator for this setup to work so i'm also going to create whoops what did i do now okay create and uh, we're going to have uh, anime animation animator controller didn't work i'm going to do it again animator controller here it goes so we're going to have it arm arm animator controller so this arm has an animator and we're going to have this arm animator controller on it and yeah so i'm going to have also animator so we have this one down here we're actually not going to use it but this is the um, what this one is usually you can put an animation in down here but um we're not going to do that today and we also do need a rig a rig uh, builder and the rig uh, builder is expecting you to have rigs and you can have multiple rigs here to make it more advanced and cool stuff but um in arm i'm just going to do create empty and i'm going to create a rig this rig is a child so the arm has the root and the rig and the rig that's where we put the chain ik constraint so this one wants to have the root and the root is this one here and if you put the root 
And I'm going to show you, you don't really want to do that. It depends on the effect. And the tip is going to be the tip here. And then we want the source object. And this source object is the target where we want this piece to follow. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make a copy of this one. So I'm going to make a tip here and I'm actually going to put it, um, yeah next to the arm so this is going to be the tip controller and we can to make it easy we're going to have blue material on this one and this one too blue 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 here we are so this one this is going to be the follower so here you see, you see rig layer and it's empty. So we, what we need to do is to have the rig here. No, why aren't you working? Okay, because you also need a rig. So here is the rig and you see here, we just pull the rig and put it here. So the arm has the animator, rig builder, and it also has a, this rig as a child next to the root and this one has a, a rig and a chain IK constraint and you see here the last thing we need to do is to put the target and we put this one here and if we hit play it should work and it does so now we can use this one and move around like this and it works <laughs> but now you see because we put the root the yellow part is moving too and I'm going to remove this magnet so it gets more smooth smooth now you see it's actually moving the yellow part too and if you don't want that then you just here in the rig instead of having the root you take bone one and now if we do move, now it works perfect so this is how it works so this is the basics and if you look, look in the rig this is the iteration so if we do really low iterations and we move this one around and you see when we get close to the maximum it kind of jumps because it's calculating back and forth uh, to get this um, thing working and to do this uh, smoother you can just crank it up and of course you need to, um, yeah, if you do 50, then it's more expensive, of course. We're not doing optimization in this tutorial. So now you see, you do much closer. So this works like it should. And also here, of course, you can do the weight of it. So that's, this is cool. And this is actually what I used in the beginning. I used to wait to transform like this. And then you can just skip some stuff if you just only the position. And um, so now you see you kind of bend it like, but not taking the tip rotation weight and this, so, you know, you have different things you can do. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you the script that I had to um, make the, when the player arrives closer to this blue thing, we're going to have a script that's do this one for us. So if you like this, please uh, hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching and see you in the next tutorial.